What's going on everyone? This is Obsidian Perspective and welcome to the man cave. <laughs> Hold on one second. Is this what you want? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, all right. Mm. You're gonna be okay? Yeah? Yummy? Okay, try again. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about so in this video, I'm gonna talk about my man cave, my home gym, and uh, my preferences and what I believe are the best equipment that you can use to have your own home gym. I'm just presenting my own preferences, and it's up to you to you know conduct your own research and uh, make your own purchases. So first question, do you need a home gym or to go to any gym to stay in shape? Of course not. I know, exactly, right? I'll be the first to tell you, to get a workout in, you only need two things. You need space and opportunity, right? Space to run, walk, do push-ups, crunches, squats, and that's it. So my best advice I can give to anybody is to start small. Your home gym might just begin with a simple yoga mat, and that's okay. That's how my fitness journey started. Uh, way back in high school, right? I was watching a crap ton of Naruto, you know, all types of anime, playing Dance Dance Revolution and Metal Gear Solid 3. In between that stuff, I was actually doing, you know, push-ups and crunches in, in the bedroom. And, and eventually, when I started going to the gym regularly, the rest is history. I was hooked. I love this stuff. I really do. I love the concept of brains and brawn, right? Uh, I have a graduate level education and can maintain a conversation with the best of them. But I also, you know, can go to the gym with you and go pound for pound if you want to do so as well. So I, I just love that, you know, maintaining your body and your mind. Even at the worst of times, I'd always make it my mission to set aside time to work on myself to develop myself and my own strength. And it's not about vanity, it's really not. I think that's just, uh, that's, a, that's a consequence of this lifestyle. I think fitness and this journey is about becoming the strongest version of myself. If you're not interested in changing your lifestyle and creating new habits, then this isn't it for you. You can click off, go somewhere else. Because that's why I bought this. <laughs> that's why I got this stuff but I did my own research to find the right equipment for me. I knew my setup had to be something that could be easily stowed away in the corner. Please, you know what, I guess, do you want it or not? All right, yeah. So I wanted to start with dumbbells and a weight bench. Very, very simple, a very, very easy, simple setup. Instead of procuring a rack like you would see at, the, at a gym, you know, at fitness centers, they have all types of machines and toys that we could never have at home, at least normal people. And so it's okay to maintain that membership, but at home, it's like your bare minimum essentials. That's how I feel that that's my mindset. You wanna just run around? You want freedom? You're free, you're free. Don't make a mess. So, where was I? So yes, uh, weight bench, uh, weight bench and dumbbells. That's all you need. Instead of procuring a rack of dumbbells, you know, in, in a variety of weights that you see at your standard gym, I wanted something more discreet. Enter the adjustable dumbbell. Here we go. There are many contraptions out there, but I use this. They're simple. They're elegant, right? I chose these dumbbells because I think they're best in replicating that gym feel. I mean, look at it. It's it's a it, it's metal, right? It's not plastic or anything that that, that can fail. You simply add weights uh, to the sides here, screw them in, and it grows in <laughs> it grows in size. But yeah, you know, you just add weights on both ends to you know increase the weight. So I have five pounds here and then 15 here, right? And then add more weights and it just gets heavier. That's amazing. And it fits right there, whoops, right there in the corner. So yeah, my, my set starts at five pounds. What are you putting in your mouth? Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, so uh, 
Yeah, my set starts at five pounds and can go to 120 pounds. Uh, there are very few adjustable dumbbells that go that heavy. I know, right? Yeah. You wanna sit with me? You wanna talk about some, some gym stuff? Wow! Mm. Boy, you gonna make me look bad. Uh, stop eating that. So, yeah, and of course, they're durable. They're made entirely of metal. And they're not gonna break or fray, right? I don't have to worry about plastic components or anything failing. It's literally, a, a, you know, a dumbbell handle and you screw in the weights. Perfect. And so, what about the bench? So, uh, I bought the same, I bought my bench the same day I bought the dumbbells. It's sturdy and it goes to a variety of positions. It can incline, decline, go flat, but it's large and it's not portable. It's kind of heavy actually. So the best advice I can give to anyone about a bench is don't go cheap. You want to have something that's sturdy, uh, certified to hold, you know, a specific amount of pounds. 500 pounds, a thousand pounds maybe. I'm making sure he doesn't stick his head into the uh, thing. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're, you're gonna hurt yourself. Come here, everything is really that over there. And I know you love this corner, but it's not for you. Stay back. So yeah, I was talking about uh, unsturdy benches, right? Example here, look at this, look at this boy, look at that. One, two. Yeah, this is what happens when you go cheap. I think I was bench pressing on this and I bought it because it folds up. Folding was, was a nice idea. I fold it up, I you know put it under the crib over there. Unfortunately, I forgot to use the safety pin. When I sat down on that bench, with weights in hand, it snapped right in the middle, me falling right through. Just don't forget to use your safeties. So I went back to using the old workhorse and I'm probably not going to change that. And I can finally throw this crap away, the broken, uh, the broken, uh, the broken bench. So let's talk about the barbells, right? Yes. I love doing deadlifts. You know, picking the weight off the ground, standing up. I love doing push presses, where you take the weight, you know, and you push it above your head. With that lovely straight bar, that Olympic uh, barbell weight. And um, any reasonable gym will have an Olympic set available. And my goal was to have that at home. No, this is really dangerous. <laughs> my goal was to replicate that Olympic set in the house but I didn't want to have to buy a whole new uh, weight set to take up more space. I wanted to use the same plates on the barbell. Here we go. See, it's like power. It's the same length as an Olympic bar, but it's also compatible with the dumbbell plates. Boom. Now I understand that Olympic plates and Olympic uh, barbell they thicker and the plates, they lift a little bit more off the ground. I don't have that feeling, but I still have that lovely feeling. I still have that lovely feeling of instability. If I have hit here in a front squat method or on my back right here, weights all the way over here and over there, it forces me to kind of straighten up, engage that core and execute the movement. So I have the, the bar, I have the bar mounted to the wall. It used to actually just sit on the corner, leaned against the wall. I don't have a, a power rack because I'm not lifting that heavy and I don't think you really should be at home. It's, it's unsafe. If I can't pick the weight up off the ground and execute the movement, I'm not doing it. I, I've had my share of home gym fails but the key is just to maintain a good, uh, good level of fitness. That's the basic setup. Like I said, adjustable dumbbells, a weight bench, and maybe a barbell if you're into that stuff. You can do deadlifts with dumbbells, of course, but that's just not my preference. I like having that. And like I said, nice and compact and not in the way. And I guess I can kind of transition now in a ways and talk about working out alone. Working out alone is hard and it takes dedication 
and like some more mental fortitude to set aside time out of your day to sweat and exhaust yourself. Uh, at the gym, it's a public setting. There is a social attitude. There's a, there's a social element to it. You might have an accountability buddy. Or, or even a personal trainer, who knows? You know, and those kind of relationships help to push you as an athlete. Can you not? Can, can you leave that alone? I know, leave it alone. No. Yeah, so working out alone is hard. You know, it takes a lot of dedication to set aside time out of your day, away from the kids maybe, and some people think it's impossible to work out at home, you know, with the kids, but for baby boy, I just put him in his chair and I work out around him. Uh, sometimes I'll just have him run around and just safely move him aside. What's the matter? What's the, oh, you wanna get down? You wanna get down? Wait, 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 wait. Wah! Oh! Wee! Wah! Okay, now you can get down. And my daughter, my daughter has her own set, actually. I forgot what I did with this side, but my daughter has her own little set. She works out with daddy. Uh, there's rice inside of here, so it kind of, you know, creates that, uh, that feel. You take this off, you remove the weights, boom, 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 and he, she has her own little, her own little barbell. It's a mess in here, but that's what it's supposed to be. It's the house, and that's what it's gonna be. You like playing with that? Yeah, and that's all I got, you know? Like I said, working out at home, it can be rough, but it's the best opportunity for you. And um, some people, they just don't like going to the gym. So yeah, invest in yourself. There's something about waking up in the morning, you know, having me a nice little pre-workout shake, getting it in, feeling good, putting on some clothes and going to work. It's just part of my routine. It's, and it's how I invested in myself to change my life. And that's the best I can say. I think I'll leave it with uh, right there. You wanna say bye-bye? Wanna say bye-bye? So, if you like this content, please comment down below. Let me know what you think of this little brosaurus right here, right? And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my site at obsidianperspective.com and do me the biggest favor of them all. Be safe and stay motivated. I'll see you at the next one.